Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to practice our modeling skill by creating this beautiful perfume. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what I would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class! Let's start by creating a plan to add our reference. The download link is in the video description. Click and drag to the plan to add the reference. In this type of model, we will start by creating the shape patterns. Use a plan the size of one of the patterns. Convert it to editable poly and add a chamfer to the edges, creating a slight curvature. In face modes, hold down Shift K and insert a new face in the center of the plane. Use the cut tool to fill the interior of the shape by connecting the points. Now, add the array modifier to create copies of the shape. You create one on the x-axis and another on the y-axis. In offsets, add a 0.05 on both axes, creating a small space in between the face. We we'll convert it again to editable poly and add a new loops in the center of the each of the shapes, both vertically and horizontally. Once this is done, we will delete some parts of the model. We only need to add of the each plane, thus creating a functional pattern. Center the pivot of the object and use the bridge to close the space. We once again add support loops in the center of the piece. Now, in face modes, select the face of the ends. Use the grow button to increase the selection and drag it forward. So, we can see that there are 11 copies in the front of the model. Let's add the array modifier and increase the number of copies on the x-axis to 22. On the y-axis, we will set the value to 12. Once that is done, we will adjust the scale of the model so that it matches to the reference and convert it to editable poly. We will apply welds to the vertices to weld the points, since the array only create the copies. In face mode, we will select the loop of the face and delete it. We will do the same on the upper part of the model. We adjust the scale again and adjust its pivot to the center of the piece. With the bend modifier, we will transform the shape into a cylinder. To do this, adjust the angle value and the correct axis of the model. We adjust the angle to 360. and position the shape with the reference. With scale, we adjust so that the shape is larger and match to the reference. We will convert the part again, and we will select the edges to the model, and while holding down Ctrl, chain to the vertex mode. Then apply weld to the weld points. Returning to the upper part, we will select the top edge and with the soft selection, adjust the distance so that the scale matches the adjustment of the model with the reference. In the lower part, we will close this hole with the scale while holding down shift and finally we use the collapse to close the hole. Now, let's create the interior of the piece. We select the top edge, holding down Shift K, we extrude downwards until the interior size is complete.
with the detach. We will separate the interior to make modeling easy. We will reduce the number of vertices using the welds on the top and bottom of the object. With the scale and collapse key, we will close the hole. Again, use the scale. We will increase the size of the interior matching to the reference. We will insert a new loop creating a curvature on the top. With the out one, we will add support loops. With the finished piece, we will add the smooth to smoothing the face and join it again with the base of the model with the attach. We use the bridge to create the connection between two edges. Then select the entire border, remove those two edges and apply a bridge again to close the gap. Now that we have the glass base created, let's make the top part using the line. We will create the outline of the piece. With the left modifier, we will create the shape from the created line. Returning to the glass, we will position it in the center of the skin on the x-axis and y-axis to facilitate the position of the new piece. In the upper part, we will fill the shape using the bridge and the edge connect. We apply a chamfer to the edges, maintaining the reference shape. In this part, add a new loop, then open subdivide in the new edit poly. We use a circle as a reference to create the detail in the model. Position the circle correctly. Decrease the interpolation to 1 and cover it to editable poly. With the shell, we will give the thickness to the part and make sure it crosses our model. With the boolean, we use the subtract option to create the cuts in the part. We will convert again and delete the inside of the hole. Use target weld to weld the points, always connecting the edges of the base in the cylindrical shape. We use the add connects to connect these points. Adjust the distance of the lines so that they are more uniform. Hold shift and use scale to extrude the shape, creating the detail. We will add support loops on the edges, and we also create a small hole in the center using a chamfer and extrude. Remember to add support loops on the edges. Finally, let's align the face on the z-axis, flatten the shape. Let's add the modifier to smoothing the shape. On the glass piece, we we'll add a loop on the edges and the chamfer on the bottom, smoothing the shape. We we'll add the smoothie again and add a value of 90. To finish the model, let's create this detail in the center of the piece. 
let's create a plan and adjust it correctly. Let's add some segments to the shape because we are going to add a band modifier to create the curvature in the piece. For angle, we'll put 90 and for direction 45. I will change the axis to X and return to direction to 0. We'll position it correctly on the shape and adjust it with the scale and bend until it mats correctly. Now that the model is positioned, let's return it to the glass, add an edit poly, I will change the color to make it easy to see the two piece, and let's go to the face mode, select this face that outline the create detail. We will delete this face and also the remaining interior. Returning to the detail, we will position it further inwards and then apply a shell to give thickness. Add the FFD3 modifier to adjust the curvature in the center of the detail and also in the ends. We convert it to editable poly, and in the glass we will add the thickness to the edge so that it fits better with the detail. To finish the model, we will adjust the fit on the sides again using the softening selection. And that's it. The model is finished. I hope you enjoyed the content. See you the next time. Bye. Subscribe to the channel. It's very important.